Hi, I'm Allison Hazlitt with Flick Direct, and I'm talking with Itzik Cohen about the Women's Balcony. Hello, how are you? Well, it's great weather, so I'm doing great. Wonderful. Um, so let's talk a little bit about this film. It, it's, it's called a comedy, but there's really some more serious themes going on in this film, isn't there? I think it's a combination of comedy and drama. You, well, you, you cry a bit, you laugh a lot, so it's the best combination I know for a, for a good movie. It's a feel-good, it's a heartwarming movie. Yeah, it does have a light-hearted theme underneath it all, but the, uh, there are some struggles, you know, little things going on and disputes kind of going on th throughout. Can we talk a little bit about Aaron? What attracted you to this part? Well, I got it, so <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay. Well, I know Emil Ben Shimon, the director, for many years. Although it's his first movie, I know him from the industry. And when he called me to do Aaron, I said, well, of course. And I didn't have too many lines, so it, it was great. I like reacting better than acting. And it's a small part with a lot of heart in it. And it's, it's very important uh, to this plot. So, uh, And he's so different from me because he's such a gray, half-baked person. He has no... no, no he has no charm in him. He's, he's such a gloomy one. So I said, well, I do him. It reminds me of myself at six, uh, when I was six. <laughs> um, he kind of goes through a little bit of a dilemma in this film. Talk a little bit about how you kind of played that, that dilemma. Well, the dilemma is um, his loyalty to his wife, to his community, or to his new rabbi star. And... Um, it leaves Aaron in a very difficult situation which he cannot deal with. That's why he, he eliminates himself for a few days and no one catches him. <laughs> but uh, eventually, I won't tell the, the, the end of the story, but eventually you see the power of community, of communication, of friendship, of love, of loyalty to your family, to your congregation. It's, it's a very strong and moving film for me because all my friends, my, my actor friends, I know them, know them for so many years, and it, it, it felt like family from the word go. So it was a really good experience for me. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about this cast, because they're all so wonderful. I mean, you blend in all so well together, and including you know, yourself and, and just everyone. It was such a great, a, a really like a sense of community to watch. Talk a little about working with them. Well, you know, casting is... It's everything. Key. Yeah, yeah. And, and the cast was really fabulous. We clicked in, in, in an instant. It was like magic because, um, I don't know, we had so much fun during the scenes and behind the scenes. It was hysterical behind the scenes because most of us are comedians. Non, uh, non, uh, we're not Shakespearean actors, you know, most of us. So it was very, very funny. And it was lovely doing it in Jerusalem, in the place the plot really took place because it's based on a true story. I did not know that. Oh, gosh, that makes it even better. Yeah, Shlomit Nechama, the, the writer, the script writer, um, it's a part of her story, her own story in Jerusalem about a congregation that um, went into this very difficult struggle within itself. Talk to me a little bit about the poli what I call congregational politics, <laughs> because every congregation, regardless of, of um, denomination, has those kind of struggles. So talk a little bit about that for me. Well, you mean struggles within the community in Israel? <laughs> it's like every two person is like, um, it's a part of three different communities because we are, we're living in neighborhoods, we're living in, in buildings, we're living in cities, we're living in the countryside, we're living in a kibbutz, we're living in, uh, in uh, orthodox families, in non-orthodox families, so, so, so many communities. And struggle is a, it's a part of the game in Israel. So um, I think it's, um, the emphasis is not about the struggle, it's about um, conquering the struggle and uh, getting along with each other. 
and I think they do conquer that struggle really well. Unfortunately, you know, they kind of, they bring their own rabbi back in, which is wonderful. You know, it, it's such a wonderful thing for them and for him, you know, based on what he dealt with. Um, but, you know, they push out someone else and, and you see him at the end kind of going to another group. So it, it, was, it, was, it was a really a wonderful, lovely film. And um, what else can we expect from you? Well, uh, there is a TV series called Fauda on Netflix, uh, which aired in, on Netflix like last month. It's very popular in Israel and in the Arabic world because it talks about the Palestinian-Israeli situation. And I'm playing there um, an investigator of the Hamas, so most of my part is in Arabic, oh. which I don't speak. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So you have to learn your lines word by word. Yeah, oh. like a parrot on my porch. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's interesting, certainly. Do you feel like you're learning any of the language while you're doing it, or you just kind of you just kind of learn the words and go on from there? Well, I'm learning each part. It's a different language for me, although most of them are in Hebrew. It's also, I have a very, very, very interesting career. Sorry for that. Mm -hmm. For me, it was very interesting because I did... A lot of parts, I started as a drag queen for four years, and then I did all kinds of musical theater. I did Fiddler on the Roof, the, the producer. I was the king in The King and I. Oh, okay. uh, Can you see that? <laughs> <laughs> I play uh, old guys, younger guys, women, men, cats, whatever they hire me for. So every, every part is a different language for me. So uh, doing Fauda, and we are now uh, going to shoot the, the next season, like next month we're starting, because it's going to be aired on December on Netflix. Okay. So I'm going to break my feet, not in English, but in Arabic this time. Okay. We'll have to look out for that. And I have to say, I know that the Women's Balcony has been doing phenomenally well in wow. Israel. And uh, it, it was such a great film. Thank you. It was, it was just really wonderful to watch. Thanks for speaking with us tonight. Thank you very much, and uh, go and watch The Women's Balcony. Yep. You'll thank me later. Absolutely, I can wholeheartedly agree with that. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks.